We got something new in the mail today, floppy catters. It didn't actually come today. We got this. Actually, I need to pull some of these. Anyway, this comes from Yao Catnip. And we are doing a giveaway on the site this month, July 2019th, for the Yaola Catnip crayons. And then there's a banana as part of the giveaway and then I think an apple too so I initially brought this box over to my sister's house so that her cats could have a set of crayons and then my um the other set of crayons is for my parents cats Camus and Murphy but I haven't seen them for a little bit so I opened up this box and it was full of Yao catnip toys and my sister's Ash just went nuts. We of course didn't get it on film because we were having a personal private conversation, but it was really cute um, how nutty he went. So I was curious to see how my two would react because th these have Ash's smells all over them, but I don't think that they care. What do you think? So Yao sent us um, they're butterflies too, which make a crinkly fun noise for kitties. And then they have catnip. All of Yao catnip toys are filled with 100% catnip. So this whole thing, you can hear it. Is filled with catnip. And then uh, the banana. This is my favorite cat toy of all time. That's all catnip inside, dried catnip. And then the crayons, which are their newest fun thing. Bub, you get it. Show them who's boss, boo. You get that banana. Get it. Get it, woo. The crayons are also filled entirely with catnip. So they come in this cute box. There's three of them, red, yellow, and blue. I'm going to throw one at Chiggy. Throw a yellow one at, at Chiggy. I always like to do this. I like to smush the catnip to release the scent more. <laughs> Maybe we'll just throw one more at Chay. Bub, you want a crayon? Okay. Crayon is one of those words that is dialectically pronounced differently in different parts of the United States. So um, I'll be curious what people say about my pronunciation. Bub, would you go? Get it. Get with this one. Dang it. We were about to go outside, but the nothing keeps Charlie from going outside, but apparently Yao Catnip does. Well, I told you it's going to be fun. <laughs> Get it. What's that one? <laughs> Can you just watch Cats on Catnip? For <laughs> Bub, get it. Where'd he go? Find it. Get it. <laughs> This one's been acting a little fun funky lately, so I'm excited to see if he'll get into this or not. Bub, get it. Where did the crayon go, Bub? Get it. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. That was mean. That was mean. Will you think about your crayon? Oh yeah, that's good. Normal chiggy. Where'd he go, Gal Gal? Find it. Where did he go? Oh, <laughs> you want a banana instead? It chased Charlie off. <laughs> get it, get it, Gal. Get it, Gal. All right, guys, I will include a link to our giveaway in the about section as well as the comment section. It goes to July 31st, 2019, and then a winner is drawn on um, August 1st. Where, we, where did it go? You need something underneath your footies? Go get it on your footies. And then I'll also include a link to where you can buy Yao yeah, Catnip um, online. They're sold pre um, predominantly in... Bob, where'd they go? Get it. 
Get it, Wooey. <laughs> I know I buzz killed it for you. I sorry. But that'd be funny. I sorry, will you? Uh, they're predominantly sold in independent pet retailers across the U.S., uh, but you can also get it online. What do you think about that? That's a pretty nice box. And then I will also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see my parents' cat's reaction to the Yao Catnip crayons, because they're going to get some too. Only 60% of cats respond to catnip. Um, there's like a gene that cats have, some cats have that make them respond to catnip. And luckily mine do. Trig is actually related to my cat Rags. Uh, distantly related, but my cat Rags, the reason I founded Floppy Cats. And Rags liked catnip, so I was pretty sure Trig would. And then... Um, Charlie, I didn't know about, but if you, I mean, the, these guys are between, um, five and a half to $6 on, uh, Amazon. And then they're usually like eight to $9 in an independent store. But, uh, if you, you know, buy one of these and your cat doesn't respond to it, you can always, um, you know, donate it to a shelter or rescue or something like that. And it's an easy way to find out whether or not they like catnip. I also love these a lot. Kittens also you don't usually respond to catnip until they're about six months old. But these are great for teething because they can bite into it and it's soft and it gives like that relief. Um, but if they were to bust it open, it's not going to harm them in any way because um, catnip is an herb and it's digestible. So like how Trig is Trig's actually biting that little piece of plastic that hanging off um that's what he's trying to get <laughs> but maybe if we do this side he did <laughs> yeah there he's going his back molars so you can see right there that oh, it doesn't even puncture it but that would feel good on two furs that were being um that were growing Trig and Camus do this, where they put it under their back feet and then like slide back and then sometimes like cover it up. Where did it go get it? Where did it go, go, go? His tail is so busy. Guy, what is it? You gotta get that one? We gotta save one for Camus and Murphy. What about the Camus and the Murphys? What about the Camus and the Murphys? Where's the Kekanoo and Kekanoo and Kekanoo? Where is he? Are you gonna be with him soon? You are? Gonna be a big beautiful okay with a cuckoo and cuckoo and cuckoo and and a sasa bow and sasa bow and sasa bow and I know where's the cuckoo and are you gonna spend some time with him soon? You are. For those of you that aren't familiar, my uh, my cats Charlie and Trig are going to be Charlie will be ten this month and Trig will be ten next month and then my parents' cats are will be fifteen next month and they've known each other. Well, Charlie and Trig have known my parents' cats their entire lives, but my parents' cats met them when they were kittens, and when my cats were kittens, and they were five. So anyway, I the call that I do for Camus and Murphy, Camus, I say, kick-a-nooin, kick-a-nooin, kick-a-nooin. So these two come inquisitively when I say it in my house, because I usually only say it when I'm around Camus. And then... Sai Sai Bowen, Sai Sai Bowen, Sai Sai Bowen is what I say for um, Murphy. But they're more used to the Kikanooin. Kikanooin, Kikanooin, I know! <laughs> I've discovered that one time because obviously I'm, when I'm inspired to say it, it's when Camus is around. And I was on FaceTime with my sister one time. We were FaceTiming just so I could see Camus. And I started saying it, and Charlie and Trig ran into my room. So I knew that, um, th that, you know, they obviously thought Camus was here. Gowie, say thanks for what? Whoa! <laughs> oh, man, I wish I'd had that panned out. Uh, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you've tried Yow Catnip. It's my favorite. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Gowie, what in the world? Gowie.